Hey, this is Matthew Setter from MasterZenFramework.com. In this short video, what I'm going to do is to step you through the use of Zend Expressive Tooling's Migrate Pipeline command. Now, if you're not familiar with it, it's a really handy tool for when you want to migrate Zend Expressive applications from version 1, which uses a configuration-driven style approach, to the newer programmatic pipeline style, which is the default in version 2. So let's get started. If you've not already installed Zend Expressive Tooling, you first have to ensure that you're using Zend Expressive 2.0. Now, depending on the age and complexity of your project, that may take a little bit of effort. However, as a simplistic guide, just ensure that all the Zend related packages in composer.json are set to use the latest stable release versions which you can see here in a composer.json file from a recent project of mine. And that secondly, after you've done that, as always, you've run composer update. With that done, you're now ready to install Zend Expressive Tooling. So let's do so by using composer require, as I always, always, always like to do, passing to it the dev switch, and then specifying the package Zend Framework forward slash Zend Expressive Tooling. Now, after a few seconds, assuming uh, that you have a decent internet connection, it's installed and ready to use. So as we've done that and it's ready to go, let's see how to use the migrate pipeline command to do some of the otherwise manual work of migrating an existing Zend Expressive 1.0 project to version two. In the terminal, from the root directory of an existing Zend Expressive 1.0 project, run vendor bin expressive migrate pipeline. Now, assuming everything went well, it should actually complete quite quickly. You can see that it's produced a bit of output to the console, showing that it's created three files and updated a fourth. If we dig in a bit deeper into that output, here's what it does. It firstly generates a new file called config autoload programmatic pipeline.global.php. This does two things. Firstly, it registers the required dependencies in the DI container, which you can see here, which are required in Zend Expressive 2. And secondly, it enables programmatic pipelines. Then in config slash pipeline.php, it enables the required programmatic pipeline middleware. Bit of a tongue twister at times, that one which you can see here. Now, these are the various helper, error handler, routing, dispatching, and not found handler middleware classes. Now, the third thing it does is it reads in the routes from the application's configuration, which I'd originally defined in config slash autoload slash routes.php, which you can see here, and it creates a programmatic pipeline representation of them in config slash routes.php which I'll just switch to now and give you a quick look at. You can see that it's just like the original configuration, only it uses the programmatic function calls instead. Some would argue that this is kind of a, a clearer, more concise approach. Anyway, that commentary aside, finally, it then enables the new functionality which it's just generated by adding require statements for config slash pipeline.php and config config excuse my tongue twisting again there, slash routes.php in public slash index.php. With all those things done, you can then remove your existing configuration driven approach. And that in a bit of a nutshell um, introductory example is how to use migrate pipeline, or sorry, the migrate pipeline command in Zend Expressive tooling to handle some of the migration tasks when migrating from Zend Expressive version one to version two. And before I just finish up here, one quick plug for the upcoming Zend Expressive Essentials book and course. If you're looking for a book and or course that will teach you the absolute essentials, the fundamentals, the foundations of creating applications with Zend Expressive, then this is the one for you. Find out more at masterzenframework.com forward slash Zend Expressive Essentials. If you want to find out more about Zend Expressive Tooling, check out the two-part series on masterzenframework.com at http 
sorry, at www.masterzenframework.com forward slash tooling forward slash create modules and middleware. Otherwise, if you want some awesome tutorials on Zen Framework and Zen Expressive, as always, check out masterzenframework.com. And if you have any other questions, tweet me any given time at ZF Mastery on Twitter. Always happy to hear your questions to help out in any way that I can. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.